The L.A. City Council took time out from its regular agenda to put the finishing touches on a special official holiday greeting to the hostages from the city. The resolution was signed by each of the council members. Then others at City Hall were encouraged to add their own personal notes before the special greeting was handed over to Los Angeles Postmaster Charles King for delivery to the American hostages. On behalf of the city, Charles, uh, we depend upon you to see that this gets delivered uh, to the proper authorities in Tehran. Do not prepare the roll. Now we make the vote. 49. And, and you can turn it on for two hours. Have, turn on your headlights during Labor Day weekend. Han envisions the Christmas Eve light display as one way local residents can most easily show their support for the hostages. It's just one example of the widespread concern expressed by officials and private citizens alike. Even the Olympic torch plays a part in the remembrance of the American hostages being held in Tehran. It's just one of the countless gestures displayed by the people of Los Angeles as they show their support for the 50 Americans held captive in the Iranian capital. And the Olympic torch will burn until they are freed. In downtown Los Angeles, Mike Botula reporting for News at 10. The holiday greeting from the city council was only one show of solidarity by local government. Supervisor Kenneth Hahn is calling for another, a more visible show of concern by local citizens. I'm urging the support of all the citizens of Los Angeles County to turn on their porch light on Christmas Eve, that's this coming Monday, at 6 o'clock in the evening until 8 o'clock in the evening to uh, show their support and concern of our hostages that are in Iran. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Take very good care. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you very much. Congratulations with people like, like ourselves in the free world and the outside world. Knowing that people care about you is a very important aspect of, uh, of survival in these kinds of conditions. So without people say this is taking great pride in serving the people of America in times of crises. We consider this no less a crisis and we will perform my duty to see that this resolution. Thank you very much. It reads, a holiday greeting of love and hope, friends, city council, and the people of Los Angeles. Uh, only uh, your safe return home, home will make this truly a joyous season. And it's signed by all of us, Mr. President, Mayor Bradley, uh, in the hopes that, indeed, these hostages will be released soon, that some of the messages... Would you like to say a couple of words? Thank you, Councilman. A couple more seconds. A great many homes turn on their porch light for just two hours. This will be a visible demonstration throughout America. At the same time, I'm urging you to turn off three lights in your house so to save the energy, but flick out the, the uh, porch lights and tell your neighbors to do likewise. 
And I'd like every American home in Los Angeles County to show their uh, concern by this method. The Board of Supervisors issued a proclamation doing that. The President of the United States uh, has urged that we have unity. And uh, I think we should do that uh, as a visible support of the President in this uh, time of crisis for America. And I urge everyone to do that this coming Monday at Christmas Eve from 6 to 8 p.m. Supervisor Hahn, uh, granted you're a county official, but do you have any kind of input from your constituents about their concern over the hostages, asking you if you can do anything in this situation? Everywhere I go, whether it's a church or a barber shop or on the street, people stop me and say, what can we do? Uh, uh, what is happening on Iran? And they're frustrated, and they want to, to release some of that frustration in, the, in an outward manner. That's why the Coliseum... Uh, event was held. It was kind of a flop because the people didn't have enough time. But it was a visible uh, sign that we're uh, concerned and we want to do something about it. And I think uh, uh, we can pray and we should pray, but sometimes it's good to have some mass uh, demonstration of, of some kind as to show the people of the world that we're concerned. You know, if we do not uh, the hostages will think we forgot them. And they're lonely and they uh, must feel at this Christmas time, time, does anybody care? And it looks like every day is getting worse for them. Every day, every hour is really going down to the wire. And their fate is in jeopardy. And uh, I think it's good to uh, we do it in Los Angeles County. We're the largest county in America. We're the home of more veterans than any other county in the United States. We have over one million veterans in this county that have all that served our nation time of war. And uh, I think this is proper and fitting that we do it on Christmas Eve. You think perhaps what's the intention in the Coliseum? I would like to see it, but unless it's a, a, a success, it shows to the America that the people in California, you know, they don't care. You know, we're known throughout America as a kind of a carefree, glamorous community because of Hollywood. And uh, I think unless it's a, a real success of filling the Coliseum, it, it will not uh, have the appearance of unity. And I think every uh, you turn on. We do have a chance to sign the vote, if we can interpret them as a message of the vote, will come true. Uh, it's been a very trying time for all of us, most of all to those hostages back there. Mr. President, in my years involved with people who have been kept hostage in one way or another, one of the great things they look forward to is community.